When I wake up in the morning and I go online, I'm looking for something crazy to blow my mind. Can't look away because you're addicted. So incredible, you can't resist it. You are watching, you are watching. Morning is the best time of day for funny pranks. A loud alarm clock, a wet towel, spoiled breakfast. We know how to put your friends in a good mood. Watch funny ideas of morning pranks in our new video. These friends have trouble sharing something again. Vicky took Curly Sue's favorite book, and she is not going to give it back. Watch out, because Curly Sue has a revenge plan already. Vicky sets an alarm and goes to sleep. Curly Sue sneaks into the room in the dead of night. She changes the phone for a loud alarm clock. And she also puts glued slippers down. Fasten slippers with hot glue. Now we will have to wait till morning. Curly Sue is happy with her morning revenge. She puts on a sleeping mask and falls asleep. Vicky wakes up to the terrible sound of the alarm in the morning. Is it some kind of warning siren? How do I stop it? She puts on slippers after she copes with the alarm clock. But apparently they are not ready to welcome any visitors yet. I will strike back at her. I sneak into Curly Sue's room. Excellent! This sleepyhead is still sleeping. First of all, I will hide her phone in a book. She will look for the page to turn her alarm off. Now, let's add details into her morning look. Let's draw a cyclops eye on her sleeping mask. I am careful not to wake my friend up. I draw a pupil and lashes. Curly Sue's look has never been so open and piercing. I take a selfie with the cyclops. Hashtag, I woke up like this. Curly Sue has prepared a cup of water for the night. Excellent! I will prepare a wet rug for the morning. And now it's time to go. Curly Sue wakes up to the sound of the alarm. But where is her phone? She left it on the shelf. She tries to take it and steps on the wet rug. Yuck! At last, she finds the book she needs with her phone inside and turns off the alarm. Curly Sue looks for her robe. Here it is. Vicky has just finished her sewing. Sew sleeves and a robe together carefully with big stitches. My friend tries to put on the robe but all the sleeves are sewn together. Now she has a cape instead of a robe. The next location of the prank war is the bathroom. Vicky attaches a cleanser using tape. Take an empty cleanser container apart. Cut off the thread so that you can take the tube out of the lid easily. Fill a syringe with any cleansing product and pour it into the tube. Attach a piece of double-sided tape to the outside of the lid and cover the tube. And Curly Sue will also brush her fabulous hair with this colored hairbrush. Take a hairbrush. Grind soft pastels of appropriate color to get powder. Spritz the brush with water and sprinkle it with pastel powder. I walk into the bathroom. A cyclops is on my sleeping mask. Very creative. Thanks, friend. I take my cleanser, but it appears that the treacherous tube is broken. The entire product is in the lid instead of on my face. 
At last, I take a brush and brush through my hair. It becomes pink. Well, this is way too much. My friend won't get away with pink hair. I've got a strike back. A hair product with glitter and a completely wet towel. Take a heat protectant product without alcohol. Put glitter in it. Close the tube and shake it. Vicky is happy that her friend fell for all of her pranks. And now it's her turn to get ready. A bit of smoothing hairspray. She sprays glittering spray on her hair. A hairdo for a real princess. But Vicky wanted a different hairstyle today. She washes the glitter off her hands and takes a towel. But it is completely wet. You may squeeze a whole bucket of water out of this towel. Time for breakfast. I've got yogurt. Sprite flavored. What kind of product is it? Pour Sprite into an empty yogurt bottle. I see an empty Sprite bottle on the table. I seem to know who changed my yogurt. My friend pretends that she has nothing to do with it. Let it be. Sprite instead of yogurt is not as disgusting as my milk prank. Curly Sue fills her bowl with cereal and pours milk into it. Oh, poor girl. Prank Wars didn't teach her a thing. She should have smelled the milk first. Add water to mayonnaise. Mix it thoroughly to get a smooth liquid. And pour the mixture into an empty milk bottle. Curly Sue takes a close look at her breakfast. This milk has a weird smell. Apparently the cow was not healthy. Or my friend decided to spoil my food. It's all right, I can eat cereal without milk. And I will leave this mayonnaise milk for my friend. Let's move on to plan B. Curly Sue comes back with a boiled egg. She shouldn't have forgotten a spoon. It's a perfect moment to change the boiled egg for a raw egg. Curly Sue comes back with a spoon and breaks the shell. Surprise! It's a new diet, raw food. My friend takes care of my health. Since Curly Sue doesn't like my raw egg, I will give a fish cookie to her. It has a marvelous scent. Take a filling out of a cookie and cover it with a fish paste instead. Decorate it with sprinkles on top. I come into the living room. A cookie waits for me here. It's so cute. I want to put it into my mouth. Yuck! Something is definitely wrong with it. It looks like a mermaid baked it. There is nothing that can cover this fish smell. Vicky wants to slice a lemon for her tea. She cuts the peel and a kiwi looks at her instead of a lemon. Cover the kiwi with a thick layer of yellow food coloring. Use hot glue to shape the ends to look like a lemon and cover it with food coloring. That's some kind of fruit cheating, but she isn't at a loss and puts a slice of kiwi into her cup. Today, she will drink fruit tea. But it is harder to cope with a pear. Why is it so hard? Paint an avocado with yellow food coloring. Attach a pear stem to the top and hide the glue using food coloring. I cut the pear in half. Now it's crystal clear. My friend sneaked an avocado instead of a pear, but I like it too. I take a spoon and start eating this healthy and ripe avocado. It's time to make peace. Prank wars can't last forever. I give the book back to my friend and prepare to make up a present. These are donut glasses. Paint glasses with round rims using cream acrylic paint. Apply a thick layer of hot glue around it and paint it in a light pink. Make dots and dashes with acrylic paint of different colors. These are sprinkles. My friend puts on the glasses at once and forgives me because you just can't be angry with somebody for a long time when you have these cute donut glasses. And we take a friendly selfie right away. Curly Sue also has a present. This is a tiny monster. 
which is a character of her favorite cartoon. Trace a tooth silhouette on felt. Cut out two details. Attach them to each other. Stuff it with cotton or polyester fiber filling. Hot glue the details to the very end. Attach a felt circle. Draw a pupil, a mouth, and close details with a black pen. Fasten the white felt tooth. Take a cap off a box of matches. Attach a strip of velvet fabric to it. And decorate with pom-poms. Take matches out of the box and cover it with a piece of fabric. Put the monster into the bed. Cover it with a blanket and close the box with a blanket cap. Vicky likes her new toy, which she can take along in her pocket. My friend can sometimes be a monster, but it will not ruin our friendship. Did you like our morning pranks? Then write in your comments how you will prank your friends. Glue slippers together, make a rainbow brush, or sneak a kiwi instead of a lemon. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new funny pranks on the Troom Troom channel.